My daughter is turning 15, and we're having a quinceañera for her. Right now, we're only in the prepping stages, but there's lots to do, and we want to take our time, so we had to start early. So we came to a location that is known for weddings and quinceañeras, and I know we can't afford it, but I want her to see it just in case. in case we want to take pictures here or something. They also charge for that, but it's very pretty. That's the quinceañera. Can you look and smile, please? And if you're new to us, first of all, hi, my name is Karen. This was somebody's home. My daughters and I have been traveling full time for the past almost six years and using Mexico as our home base for the past three. We're currently in Miami with family so we can have this party. Thank you. Why a quinceañera? Well, I was born in Venezuela, my dad is Cuban, my mom's Argentina, and my kid's dad is from Honduras. So they're as Latino as it gets. And we fully embrace our heritage. Now if you had it, it would be there. Like that's where the party is. Or outside. So we are in Biscaya Museum and Gardens. And this is a historic landmark. It was built in 1916 as a waterfront state home. And it has 32 decorated rooms and 10 acres of gorgeous amazing gardens you could probably spend hours here and never run out of things to see this is usually where the cake goes and outside where the tent is this is where the party would be i recommend you don't come in the middle of the day though because miami weather you know but it's gorgeous and being a homeschooling mom, my world schooling kids like museums. <laughs> and it was like a two for one deal. Like we get to check out a place that has quinces and they get to learn a little bit of history. The amount of details is extraordinary. All that is textured. I moved to Miami when I was 10 years old and the history I learned in my teens was here and I have to say that it wasn't until I started traveling that kind of put the, the history from Miami into perspective so I really love every time we come into town taking them to places like this to kind of readjust what they have learned because a beautiful home like this holds a completely different value when you learn the true history of the United States. Fun fact, I used to do things like this for a living. Now I probably wouldn't be a world schooling mom if I didn't hold their depth of thought and emotional intelligence in as high regard as I do their academics. So. I have to say that another reason that I kind of thought it was important to bring them to a place like this that I know we cannot afford and they know we cannot afford is because I think that when kids start hitting the teenage years that is the period of time in which they stop dreaming they stop thinking that anything's possible they stop wishing outside of what they're capable of doing and to me, this is such an important quality to have. Another quinceañera. To just grow in life and to try new things and push yourself forward. If you think you're able to do something that you've never done. In Florida, there's alligators everywhere. If there's water, there's alligators. You're more willing to try. So it's important for me to bring them to a place like this allow them to dream and who knows you know 
you never when you're an entrepreneur money comes in and waves so you never know maybe by december 30th which is her birthday we would be able to afford pictures here or something of the sort so i definitely like to leave it open not to mention that you don't really know what you like until you really go out there and see what's available so i feel like she got a lot of ideas as far as decor for her party from this experience so we're back and we have to wait for the rest of the family to be ready to go dress shopping at my sister's house and the house that she's fixing I told you guys in one of the videos that the house we're staying at is under construction. Um, but this is where Akira was thinking to have the party. Good morning. I don't have food. They have food. Here, let's see if we can get you some food. The water is so pretty. The duck wants food! <laughs> you have to wait, duck. They're not opening the door. Alright, let's look around while we wait for the door. Look at this magical place. It's not Biscaya, but it is pretty gorgeous. And I kind of personally prefer the cozy aspect of it. So why do you want to have a party here? What do you like about it? Um, it's easier because, you know, the house is right there, so you don't have to get ready and then go to the venue. And it's cheaper, so then you have more money for decor and the dress and other stuff for the party. And there's ducks. We finally have food. Let's go back, duck. Don't come in. We're coming. Back up, back up. Look, right here. You're like starving. Here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see this one too. This is for the parrots. Well, parrots and squirrels and smaller birds. I don't know, but the, the parrots are beautiful. Oh, there's those. You see those? Sometimes there's also manatees and turtles. You see both. So how does it feel like to be turning 15? Uh, feels normal, except with a little bit more stress because it's a big party. You're stressed? Really? Yeah. What stresses you about, about the party? I don't know. The planning of it? What part? Um, and what is the one thing that we could do to take some of the stress away? Get the dress. Okay. Well, today we're going to go get the dress. So. I can tell you what's stressful for me. <laughs> I think it's hard as a parent to see your child grow. I'm super happy that they are so wise and well adjusted and at the same time I no longer have a baby so I'm a little bit torn but also very happy and we're in a good place and I'm so grateful that my sister has this place to share with us for the party. Although we're gonna go check out one more venue because I just wanna make sure that she's happy with her choices, you know? But this is an awesome choice. So I personally did not have a quince, but my sister had a sweet 16 and she had it in one of these halls. So she suggested we check it out just in case the car actually liked it. I had no idea what to expect as far as as far as the ordering process and it was interesting to find out. 
there are many of these halls for quinces and weddings in Hialeah in South Florida and this was the most modern one I noticed so that's why we checked it out so we didn't really know what to expect but I have to say that we're very hands-on people and there you have very little choice on how to decorate what to change what to keep um, it seemed like you had like a set menu and you had to just stick to it actually she didn't even discuss food huh so we're not against it but we're not sold on it then it was dress shopping time I was so looking forward to this we tried to have a quince for my other daughter Kiara last year in the summer and unfortunately I got very sick and the only thing that we were able to accomplish for her was the dress shopping so I have a little bit of experience this time around now we had never been to this particular one and they had an array of colors usually there's a lot of pink happening um, so it's kind of cool and then they let you try them on now the cool thing about this is that they're rentals you don't actually have to buy the dress and they help you into it and this was my favorite reminded me of the Ariana Grande dress from I don't know Grammys Oscars some sort of award trip except she had it in gray but it was super cute now this child smiled the whole time <laughs> she was so happy it, it kind of takes you back to when she well kind of took me back to when she was little and we wear princess dresses I have never been a really glamorous person I like funky and when they were little I would dress them a little bit goth at times so as soon as they had control over their wardrobe they started wearing dresses and princess crowns and all kinds of things so this is all them and she loved this experience unfortunately the dresses were way expensive so we moved on and around the corner <laughs> and and what's literally around the corner yes i love this place and if you ever saw my cuba in miami video you experienced this place too and let me tell you like i don't even know how to describe the yumminess that happens in here it is delicious and it brings me back to my childhood it reminds me of my dad that has now passed away so if you're in Miami, you need to have pastelitos cubanos. There's just no way around it. It's a must have. And in my opinion, Vicky Bakery makes the best ones. They are the perfect balance of savory and sweet. They're nice and fluffy. They melt in your mouth. Their coffee is pretty good too. And thank you everybody for being so supportive. You guys are amazing. Look at how fluffy that is. All the layers. Fluffy and sweet on the outside. And always enough filling, which is important. Now we're getting to the next destination. This is where we found the dress for my other daughter and the service it's amazing and that's a lot considering that everywhere we looked for dresses except one place the service was amazing now keep in mind there's a lot of these places in Hialeah there's a really big Latino population in South Florida and therefore we have a lot of quinces but look at this <laughs> Any dress you could ever want, they have here. And she started picking. 
so we could try on. And yes, she wants pink. Her party is gonna be pink and pastels and tea party. So this is a dress rental place for quince dresses specifically. That way instead of paying like a thousand dollars for a dress that you're gonna wear once, you only pay a few hundred for just the night. But I think they rent it to you for a period of time and then you have to return it for their dry cleaning. So you can actually take the dress like a month before. It doesn't have to be like the day before the, the event. And that way you have time to take pictures. Um, most people traditionally will do a photo shoot and then hang the picture on their wall. That's not necessarily us, but um, we are still willing to take the dress early to take our kinds of pictures. Obviously being nomads, I don't really have a wall, but I still want the pictures. And she enjoyed it. She loved the dresses in this place. And they were half the price of the last place that we went to. So I was happy that she was happy and it was cheaper. <laughs> it felt like such a deal. And now I am not going to show you the dress that she finally picked. Because I want it to be a surprise once we get to the party. And you'll have to wait because the party is December 30th. So we are far, far away. Um, in the meantime, we're going to keep living life here in South Florida. And eventually we're going to have to keep planning this party. Because there's a lot of different steps that have to be taken care of. We got a dress! Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye.